Hey, welcome back. It's Sunday the 7th of January, 2024. I'm sporting my new uh, um, Prostic Cancer Awareness T-shirt. I'm about to go out for my second run. Um, this time I'm choosing to go down to Cumbran Boating Lake. Uh, the aim is to go from uh, across the Kilo Groby Ground, um, through the park, across the road, down to the Boating Lake, around the Boating Lake, and back to the car. I don't know how far that is, um, but I'm going to estimate it's about four miles. We'll f we'll find out, and hopefully we'll find it if we can run it. Because of course, the last time we won, uh, one run, the last time we we uh, run, I only made 1.88 miles. I think it was 3k. Um, so yeah, this will be a bit longer, five six k possibly. Um, or if it's five miles, it might be 10k. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out as we're running around. It's my second run of uh, the week because I run Thursday. My legs are on absolute fire. Uh, as I predicted, my legs were going to be very, very stiff the day after they, uh, they were. And then the day after that, which was uh, Saturday, um, they were quite bad as well. I've uh, got a massage gun that was bought me uh, last Christmas and I used that. And I used, also used uh, my hot tub and I used uh, the ice bath uh, in work as well, and that did me absolute wonders. Um, the recovery after using the ice bath and the hot tub was uh, was really, really good. Um, so if you are a runner or an athlete and you need some recovery, I would highly recommend uh, one of those or both of those products. Anyway, enough of that for the time being. Let's crack on, let's get to the boating lake and let's start our run. Welcome back, so I've arrived at the boating lake um, it's a lovely uh, a boating lake. No, I haven't. I haven't done that at all. I've arrived at Crossy Keely or Grubby Ground. This is where we're going to start off from. Um, I'm going to select run this time as opposed to walk. Um, and then we're going to head off and uh, start running. Because it's so cold, it's, um, it's four degrees. So it's like running your fridge, really. Imagine getting inside your fridge and having a little run. Come on, we've got to have a bit of humour. You don't want to watch uh, an ugly guy running, do you? You want to watch good-looking guy telling jokes. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have a little uh, walk, possibly, to the path over there. Uh, just try and get warmed up a little bit. I'll do a little bit of stretching before I start as well, um, because I'm in absolute agony. And then we're going to attempt to run. What I've got to figure out this time in my small brain is it's not about the pace. Stop trying to think about pace. Start trying to think about miles. You've got 26.2 miles to run and you've run 1.88 so far. And it's the 7th of January, so it's not a lot um, of time to do these miles. And realistically, I've only really got a Sunday to run. Uh, I'm saying that because um, I go to work quite early in the morning and when I get home, it's pitch black. And whilst I could run when it's pitch black, I can't really film when it's pitch black. So, uh, so yeah, anyway, I'll uh, close this off for now and I'll see you in a minute or two. Okay, so I'm about to start my watch. Oh, oh, it's going already. Right, so this is the uh, path I'm coming across at the moment. It's the game going on over there. And I've got to concentrate on it being a slow pace and get the miles in as opposed to trying to go really fast. What a lovely place to come and run, particularly in the summer. I'll see you in a few minutes. Welcome back. My watch normally goes at every kilo mile meter. It hasn't gone yet. But I can see it's past it. Believe it or not, I'm feeling a bit better than last time. But I'm still shattered. Let's keep going. I'm approaching the boating lake now. I think that was about 1.9, is it? Can't quite see. So I'm at the boating lake. 
and it's about now if I can breathe that I wanted to give some shout outs to people who've donated starting off with my wife Laura Ralph thank you very much Connor and Hannah thank you very much you beautiful people moving on to Sue I used to work with Sue at the Kingsway thank you very much you were so very kind and I appreciate your support we then move on to an anonymous medium member medium is a platform that I write for so thank you very much it's great to see some old work colleagues Paul Wickens fantastic driving instructor that helped my son Connor pass first time make sure you check him out Paul Wickens of Newport Cheryl and Shane brother-in-law and sister thank you very much Leighton thanks for your contribution I think you end ends anonymous but I know you donated thank you nephew Kyle and beautiful wife Kerry Godfrey thank you for your continued support <coughs> Some of my best mates, Dean Clark and Edward Bentley. Always there when I need you, thank you. Jan and Roy, thank you ever so much. The biggest donation I've received. You've always been by my side, thank you very much indeed. Um, I think I've covered everyone off. I think it was another anonymous person. I don't know who you are, but thank you. If I've missed you, I'm sorry. I'll add you in the credits. I'll add you some more show tapes next time around. I am shattered. Oh, wish I knew what that said. I really want to stop running. I'm shattered. On my way back though, I haven't left the boat and eight behind. Oh, I want to stop. Other people can do it, so can you. Bit of a little session going on there, well done. I don't want to video them too much because it's off putting, but that's brilliant. Really nice to see people getting out and training. Well done. I think. I think that says 4K. Wake up. I'm talking about me, not watch. Oh, come on. Let's bang 5K. Come on, Rob. This is the home stretch. The car parks at the end. Oh, God. So I've reached the edge of the car park. We're not quite there, I don't think. No. So, I'm going to roll on the car park until we get to a distance. Oh. Oh. We've hit it. Let's stop the watch. Oh. oh my god. Okay. I've literally just stopped. Done the 5k ironically back to my car more or less for those of you who know me you can see it in the background <clears throat> it'd be fair to say i'm absolutely fried my girls are probably watching oh i'm gonna go for a little walk now <clears throat> i need to cool down Thank you ever so much for the people that have donated so far. Prostate cancer, like all the other type of cancers are really important that we try and find a cure for. 
people like I said well we have for prostate they've caught early which is good but thank you very much indeed I'll pop my uh, link in the description below if you would like to contribute uh, to I'm gonna walk away as people come in um, if you'd like to contribute to the donations already I believe we're up to 125 pounds now 300 is the target so still some way to go but I definitely appreciate everyone who supported me thus far <clears throat> this is vlog number two of many to come 5k is 1.3 miles and I previously done 1.8 so according to that we're on 4.9 miles there or thereabouts <clears throat> just another 20 and a bit miles to go over the next what well, we've got 23 days or so right i shall leave it there for now if you fancy coming to join me on my run because that would really help me get in contact you know how to do that <clears throat> get in contact i would love to meet up and uh especially if you are a runner because you can give me some encouragement on the way around and hopefully get me back into the groove of things thanks for watching I will see you on the next vlog. Make sure you smash subscribe and like the video to keep up to date with my future vlogs on this January prostate cancer campaign. Thank you. Bye-bye.